God has and continues to teach me about love in the past two years, and it was from reading C.S. Lewis's book, The Four Loves, that he writes how Christ has loved us in such a way that it requires nothing from us. One of the many reasons why I stand here today is not only by the grace of God, but also because a while back, when I was going through hardship, you stuck by me, making sure I was okay, and you never gave up on me. You will find a marriage that will sustain you, a marriage that will equip you, a marriage, listen, that will heal your brokenness. He goes on to write that we want to be loved for our cleverness, our beauty, our generosity, our usefulness, but that love, the love we receive from him, does not depend on anything we can give or take. So it was about this time that he challenged me to show that type of love to you. So without any question or thought, that's what I did. You showed agape love, and that is what I vow today. Strip away your baggage and let you run a race. You will never stop. See, you get each other, and now you got a partner to run this race with. Someone to tell you you can make it. We got some place to go. Let's cross the finish line together. Yeah, it raised some eyebrows, and people didn't really know what to do or expect. They didn't know what was going on. To continually practice a guppy love, not only in the good times in our marriage but more so during the refining moments of our marriage, such as when you are hangry or paralyzed with fear when you see the smallest little spider. Over time, I began to realize just how amazing you are. I've also come to realize that having you in my life makes it a lot better. I may fail once or twice, but thankfully, during my weakness, God's power is made perfect. There's no one else I'd want as a partner as I continue in this life and seek God. I want you to become the best person you can be and the person God has called you to be in your giftings. I vow to respect, support, be loyal, and faithful to you. I'm excited to begin this new chapter of my life with someone I call my best friend. And I know I'm not an easy person. I also vow to respect and value our differences as much as our common ground. And most importantly, I vow to comfort you when your favorite football team loses and celebrate with you when they do win. I love you, and I will never leave you, and I'm here to stay. I'm excited to look forward to, bring, um, to being your life partner and seeing where God takes us. Lastly, I see these vows not as promise, but also as privileges. This woman who you hold by the hand is to be your wife. She has given you one of the most sacred things under heaven, a woman's life you vow here as you have promised Carrie that you will be true and loyal, patient in sickness, comforting in sorrow, and forsaking all others. Keep yourself only unto her so long as you both shall live. Carrie, this man whom you hold by the hands is to be your husband. On your life, your love and devotion, he will lean for strength and inspiration. He is going to look to you for encouragement, for cheerfulness and confidence. Do you vow here as you have promised Aaron that you will be loyal in adversity, ministering to him in affliction, comforting him in sorrow, 
and forsaking all others, keeping yourself only unto him, so long as you both shall live? I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride.